The local economy could be boosted by tens of millions of pounds. That's the message from Norfolk's Learning and Skills Council and the new campaign, Skill Up. The message is absolutely clear. Training is a crucial investment, not just for companies now to ensure that they can thrive in the current economic circumstances, but also to ensure that they're well placed to grow in the future. It's been a tough year for business, so how can you make sure that you're in the best possible shape for the future? The thing that will matter most of all when people visit Norfolk is the quality of the experience they get and therefore the skills that people have, the knowledge, the competence and the ability to meet customer needs will be key to the success of the sector. There are around about 3,000 businesses operating in the tourist economy and they employ around about 30,000 people. So in terms of GDP, in terms of jobs, in terms of wealth creation, tourism is truly massive. Research shows that Norfolk falls below the national and regional average for skills in the workplace. It's a gap that needs to close, says Norfolk's Chamber of Commerce. Normally when times get very challenging, businesses are inclined to, to cut back on their, their skills training. Um, but actually, right at the moment, I think businesses do understand that actually the more they invest in their individual staff, actually the more successful they're going to be. From the beaches to the broads and beyond, the area draws in millions of visitors every year. We're talking now to two employers in the industry who are already doing all they can to ensure that their businesses and their workforce emerge from this downturn in a fit and healthy shape. Bernard Ducker, what are you doing? We're actually investing in the workforce with regard to apprenticeships. We're ensuring that our staff are skilled with one-day training courses from the Regional Tourist Board, as far as customer care, disability care, telephone training, and all those sort of things. And within Norfolk, I think many, many hotels and also individual proprietors are doing the same. Good afternoon, Crown Hotel. Restaurateur Chris Kubra says training has been vital for his business success. Uh, training's everything to a degree. We always say that if they've got the right attitude, uh, then we can supply the training. So we'll take in um, young people straight out of school uh, who don't really know what they want to do, and we're, we're, we're very, we think it's important that they try it before they buy it, maybe. I wouldn't encourage someone to do a three-year course and then go out into industry and decide that, oh, that's not exactly what I thought it was going to be about. So if they come down here, they do some dishes, or they'll, you know, they'll do some waiting on, or they'll help around the gardens. And then if you start investing the training into them, keep it fairly broad at the start, you know, a scattergun approach, train them for, for almost anything to do with the hospitality industry. And then as they decide and mature slightly what they want to do, we can then help them, you know, focus on, on, on the specifics of their training that will help us. And by them knowing more, we're a better business all round. It does work for everybody. Perfect proof then that skilling up your workforce and continuing to train is crucial, whether it's in the tourism industry or any other business. Crucial for good business performance and for profit growth. People are most businesses' most important asset. And what we, the message we want to get out uh, through the Skill Up campaign is just how important skills are to business performance, business competitiveness and the competitive edge of many, many businesses in whatever sector that is. I think the second message we want to get out is just how easy it is to access a variety of ways in which businesses can upskill their people. You'll reap what you sow. If you don't sow some seeds now, in our young people or, or those people that want to be trained, you'll find in five or ten years when you're looking around for a chef or a barman or a waiter or whatever you're looking for, they won't be there. And that just makes common sense. You don't have to be Einstein to work that out. Well, the statistics show that businesses that uh, do train and get upskilled their workforce are actually two and a half times more likely to be more successful um, than those that don't. So it's really important that businesses do take time and a resource to actually upskill their workforce.